and welcome to today's video, where we'll be configuring our third-party autosync with the Brighton Active app. Before we get started, ensure that you've already created your Brighton Active account, downloaded the Brighton Active app from the iOS Marketplace or Google Play Store, and logged in for the first time. For more information on how to do this, please check out our other tutorial, whose link can be found in the description below. And with that out of the way, let's get started. To begin, ensure your Brighton device is already powered on. Next, open the Brighton Active app. In this video, we will begin by activating third-party account link for syncing your activities. To do this, start by selecting the Profile tab. On the Profile tab, you'll see the option Third-Party Account Link. This will bring up a list of available accounts that you can link with. By selecting the service you would like to connect to, you can choose to toggle this service on or off. This will then prompt you to log in and enable the link. So, choose your method of logging in. Next, be sure to authorize Brighton Active to connect to your Strava account and press the Authorize button. Once finished, your new activities that are synced from your Brighton device will be automatically uploaded to your third-party platforms. If you would like to upload an activity that has already been synced to your Brighton Active account previously, you can manually upload this by going to the results page. Then select the activity you would like to upload. and press on the menu button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Here you will see the option upload to third party platforms. By selecting this, you can choose a specific platform where you'd like to upload it. Once complete, press OK and your activity will have been uploaded to the third party account. Returning back to the main screen, we will next sync your third-party routes from your list of routes. To do this, start by going to the Course tab. In the Course tab, we will select the My Route option. If you have already connected to a third-party platform, it will automatically begin uploading when you go to the My Route page. Your routes will then appear in the list of routes with an icon next to it, corresponding to the third-party platform that you're using. So, additionally, if you'd like to add routes from another third-party platform, simply press the green plus arrow and select third-party account link. Here, we can see the account that we've already synced to in the previous part of this video. However, you can choose from the other accounts available in this list. Again, toggle to enable it. And here, we will again enter our credentials. After that, be sure to grant access and your account will be successfully paired. Returning back, we will now see that Kamut in this example has been enabled. After pairing with a new account, it will again begin searching for new routes and download them to your My Routes page. Here, we can now see that the Kamut routes for the account that we just logged into are being synced to the My Routes page. These routes will then appear in your list of routes 
with a Komoot icon, or whatever third-party platform you chose icon, in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. And with that, we can see our new routes, and we're all set to go. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.